got everything ready to go here. Before we get into the vegetables, I did want to mention that um, we are going to be at Balloon Fiesta again this year. This is going to be Abby's first Balloon Fiesta and she's really excited about that. So I just, um, I'm gonna put a link to our, uh, we've got a, a Balloon Fiesta playlist that has some of the best footage uh, from previous years. So, all right, well right now we are, we're just gonna go ahead and start taste testing some of the stuff that we've got. And I think we'll start actually with the borage leaves. I've got the pinkish purplish one there and uh, Abby's got more of the blue one, so. <laughs> mm. I like this. I think they're, they're very mild mm -hmm. flowers. They're a little cucumber-like with a little hint of sweetness, so it's really pretty good. Um, I think we're gonna go with another flower here. So yeah, show them yours there, Abby. This is the nasturtium. This is my favorite. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful colors on that, so. And these are a little bit different. These really pack a punch. Mine hit. Yeah, mine is hitting now. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. What do you think about that? I like it. I like it a lot. It's a real strong flavor, kind of like a radish or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, it mm. has a bite. It's like it going has, into my sinuses. Yeah, it definitely has like a bite. Horse radish. <laughs> All right. What do you think we should we should have next? What's up next, Abby? Um, I want to get into the carrots. Want to get into the carrots? Yeah. All right. Okay, we're gonna go first for the Kyoto Red. So that's what the inside of the Kyoto Red looks like. It almost looks like a red pepper wood, you know, on the inside with that nice red flesh on the outside, kinda. Mm -hmm. But it's almost got, I think, a little bit of a bite to it. Um, this is a Saint Valerie. So this is pretty traditional, I think, like what you would see of a carrot. Mm -hmm. Good. Good orange carrot, nice crunch. Now we get into our Uzbek. <laughs> Uzbek gold. It's been one of my favorite carrots this year. I didn't think I was gonna be that excited about it. Just as a yellow carrot, I thought, you know, I don't know. But the shape, I really love. They're very nice rounded, real tapered shape. And um, they just have grown really well. I think these coming out of the ground tend to be a lot more uniform. Mm -hmm. Like if you pull up another Uzbek, it's gonna be about this shape and about this size. And just such a pretty color. Yeah. Like, really mm. crunchy. I think that one's sweeter. I do Don't you think that's got like mm -hmm. higher sugar content or something? Mm -hmm. This is the deep purple carrot. Yeah, that's a bit of that. And the reason that we grew these carrots this year was really primarily for juicing. I mean, we like snacking on them too, but um, I wanted to have a juicing garden this year. I just thought if I have the cucumbers and the carrots and the beets, we're gonna have, you know, the base for some really good uh, carrot juices. I just think the inside is so pretty. Um, this is a really pretty color. Deep purple. And it really is a very deep, and that one has a more mild flavor, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, the last one is the black nebula. Black nebula. This, this one is a serious purple vegetable here. This will dye your teeth. And there's a lot of juice. I don't know if you can see that in there, but there's a lot of moisture in this. There's purple juice coming out of that. It's juicy. You can tell when you eat it. It's a real mm. juicy carrot. And that one's a little sweeter, I think, than the uh, than the deep purple. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you think about maybe some grapes next? We've got two different varieties of grapes. I've got a small Concord uh, grapevine, and so we've got a few of those. And my, my bigger, healthier grapevines are actually this variety Flame um, grape, which is a mostly seedless, but I think some of these, for some reason, they do have little kind of little seeds in there. But um, I'm gonna try this Concord to start. These do have seeds in them. Wow. Yeah, so just that real, this has got a punch of flavor. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of flavor that you expect with Concord grapes. You know, it's got that sweet jelly-like kind of initial bite. And then uh, the skins are a little bit bitter. 
Mm -hmm. um, and a little bit chewy, but man, they're good. It reminds me of like candy flavoring. They're that sweet. Yeah. Like everything you would ever think of, of grape candy, like a Jolly Rancher or something <clears throat> like that. That's yeah. what these taste like. All right. Next we'll try the flame grape there. So, and they're a little bit more of a light purple or red grape, you might say. No seed. Actually, mine does have a seed in it, does but it? it's not as yeah. hard as a pumpkin. I noticed that, yeah, some of them have seeds. But I really like this one a lot. It doesn't have the bitter skin, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have the jelly inside, kind of like the Concord does. It tastes more like a traditional grape. And yeah. It, they're really fun just to pick and eat. All right, you're up. Pick a veggie. Pick a veggie? Yeah. Well, it seems appropriate since we just did grapes to do grape tomatoes, right? Oh. These are my favorite. All right. <laughs> I'll do it. I, won't, I probably won't like it. Although I do remember eating one earlier in the season, and it was super, super sweet and almost tolerable. It's got a lot of sugar. It's got a very sweet flavor. It had that gush of tomato. I don't know. I don't know what it is about tomatoes. I just, oh, anyway, I'm not a great person to evaluate a tomato. What do you think, Abby? I think it's so sweet. It doesn't taste too much like a tomato. It just tastes like candy to me. They yeah. just are so good. They are juicy. Oh boy. Um, but it's more sweet than it is that tomato taste. And I just think it's, it's such a I'll great flavor. That. I really like those. Oh, well, let's see. I got to go a completely different direction. Um, I think maybe we need to taste a little bit. We got some basil that we brought in. We've got three types. I think this is sweet Thai basil. Sweet Thai basil. This is sweet Thai basil too. Should we just do it together? Yeah. Mmm. Smells so good. Mm. It has a good flavor. Just it's yeah. like sweet. It's actually it seems weird to eat basil, but that's actually like really good. That's yummy. Mm -hmm. Like you could just you could just eat quite a bit of that. It's it's pretty mild for a basil. It doesn't have that. You know, a lot of times fresh basil leaves are really a pow. They're just like so strong. And this has it's it's strong. It's got a almost like a um, almost like anise or anise. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but yeah, almost like that licorice little licorice -y well, Yeah, I can thing, actually Almost like that numbing, one. kind of numbs yeah. your tongue a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, mm, just love the, uh, the smell and the flavor of that. All right, I'm a little scared of this one. This is just the flowers from one of our purple ball basils. I think this is gonna be, the leaves are so compact. I just feel like this is gonna have like the flavor of 10 basils packed into the tiniest leaf. They're strong. Maybe. It's way stronger than the other, the last one we had, the sweet Thai. This one um, is what you would think basil would taste like. Mm. Yeah, still a good flavor though. Mm -hmm. Purple ball basil. So, and our last one, this is one of my favorite basils that I've grown so far. Although I think that Thai sweet basil might actually take the cake. But this is cinnamon basil. <clears throat> and uh, hmm, it just smells, Amazing. smells like cinnamon. Well, I don't know if I'd want to eat it. <laughs> That's a real strong sound. It's not like... A cinnamon gummy bear without sugar. Cinnamon gummy bear, yeah. That's that's a good way to put that. That's a weird taste. Very interesting, very interesting, but I love the I love the aroma. Oh, the peppers. <laughs> the Jimmy Nardellos. You go first, I wanna see what you think. I like these a lot. They're very sweet. Yeah. This tastes like a pepper somehow, but without the heat. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, I love that. I could eat a lot of that. Mm, that was good. All right, I think I got to go with, I'm pretty excited about 
the Chinese broccoli. So I'll give you that one. That's got some nice leaves on it. But um, you can kind of see on here how those flowers, the unopened flowers at the top, they almost look a little bit, it's, it's like a larger version of what broccoli florets look like, but, but these are bigger. Do you want a leaf? Um, yeah, I'll try a leaf. So with this plant, you can eat the leaves. <laughs> Our cat's back here just. I know, he's cracking on me a show. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, we it. <laughs> you can eat the leaves, you can eat the flowers. You can eat the florets. You can eat the stems. This is so good. This is a high value to me. I'm I'm think I think I want to grow this in the future and try to get try to try to use this and incorporate this more into my diet. Um good. you could put this on like a fresh green salad. You can put this in a stir fry. You can eat this fresh out of the garden. Just pick part of it and, and eat it while you're out. Um, we had it in a stir fry and it was really good. Yeah. And the bigger leaves, they're just strong. You can just tell that it's just yeah. Um, yeah. very calcium packed. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Yeah. Well, should we do some, whoops. Try the onion. Onion taste test. All right, so the onion. It's a little purple onion. Really good. Woo! Really hot. Yeah, that zings you when you're just eating it raw. And really flavorful. Yeah. And the green onion. Woo! We may have to take a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. We're like, let's just eat an onion and film it. <laughs> So anyway, I like onions, but we that can was that was gnarly. We begin to the cucumber to help mellow it out. Oh, there you go, there you go. All right, the cucumber. So look at this thing, beautiful, beautiful yellow lemon cucumber. All right, <coughs> the smell of it is like a strong cucumber, and it's yeah. green inside. That does that mellows out that onion flavor right away. Good idea. Yeah, and it's good. I mean, it's got a real mild cucumber flavor. Nice crisp bite to it. You know, that outer skin just has a nice crunch. It's a good flavor. Mm -hmm. We're down to the beach, and I don't know what variety. I know one of them is Chiogia. I think this one's Chiogia. And I don't know if this one is Ruby Queen or Deep, was there one called Deep Purple or Detroit Red? Detroit Red. Detroit Red, Ruby Queen. Ruby Queen. And I don't know, I can't remember. But anyway, we'll cut into them here and kind of see what we get, all right? Yeah, that's the Chiogia. Really beautiful pattern inside of just kind of almost like red and red and white circles, pink and white. Looks like a face, doesn't so, it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, beautiful color. And that's got a real sweet that's initial good. taste. I think just, you know, I mean, a lot of people don't like to eat beets, especially just fresh out of the ground, and I would probably be one of those people. But this beet, it's very, it's just very sweet and the, and the beet flavor is real mild. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Tastes like candy. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. And all the pigments you're getting with that. So these have been fun to juice. So what do you think about this one? I think this is gonna taste very beady. Yeah. So we'll, that we'll inside. End a, we'll end on a strong note. <laughs> But one thing I will say about the juicing garden that's been good this year, we've been able to juice these root vegetables, but we've also had 
um, we, we've done a root roast with the beets and the carrots. That one's not too bad either. No, it's not. That's really sweet. Mm -hmm. That one might be sweeter than the other one. I was thinking the same thing. Wow. Man, I need to start eating beets. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> wow. We appreciate you guys following our channel. And I really do hope that you will follow along and check out our Balloon Fiesta um, content, which will be coming out in, uh, in October. So thanks for watching. You guys take it easy, and we'll catch you next time. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. Mm -hmm.